Hey, YouTubers, got another video review for you today. Well, the product that I'm about to show you today is probably one of the most handiest money saving tools that I've ever seen for a garage or a kitchen or just really anywhere that, you know, you use aerosol type cans. You know, you've, you've all been there the same as I have, you know, you'd be working in the garage or something, or, you know, you knock over an aerosol can and, and when you knock it over, you break the break the top off of it you know what i'm talking about you not only do you break the the uh, nozzle off but a little white piece sticking up right in there and when you break that off you can never get that nozzle back on there to fit right and it won't never work right and because half the time when i break them off they're so small you can't get the tip inserted down back in there and so you know you've just screwed yourself because you know, there goes a $3, 3 $4 can of brake cleaner, or, you know, if you've got some of this higher end uh, CRC cleaner, contact cleaner, that stuff's expensive. I don't know, almost $10 a can. That's where this uh, product that I'm about to show you comes into play because it can really save you some, some money. And what this product is, it's called a save a can. And it's basically just a nozzle, a brass nozzle that has some threads on the bottom of it that takes and it allows you to screw it down onto that little white piece sticking up right there. Now, I know what you're saying. You know, not all cans have this little white piece sticking up. Yeah, that's true. So it's not gonna work on every can. You know, a lot of the a lot of the cans have that white piece sticking up. Now, the, one, the other ones that I'm talking about that you won't use the, this product on is, is the ones like this, where, you know, if you break the, the little nozzle, the sprayer, then you just go steal one off of another paint can and stick it on there and it works. So, you know, it's not going to work with, with this can at all. So toss that one aside. But, you know, all these other cans right here, it will work with these with these style cans. And so let's say, you know, you uh, just accidentally just uh, drop the can like I'm about to do. And you can see there's nothing wrong with this. This is a brand new one. It's never been damaged or nothing. I'm just gonna drop it right here on the concrete and I'm gonna break the, or try to break the top off of it. Hell, you can see I dropped it right on its top and cause I'm trying to break it, it won't break. But let's just slam it down a couple times and see if we can tear it up. Well, I've boogered it up pretty good, but that's not enough. Uh, let's take a pair of pliers and see if we can just uh, cut the tip of, off of it and then make it work. So we're going to cut it at an angle to be, there we go. That's what they normally look like when you drop them. Yeah, you can see how jagged it is. It's pointed on one end. It kind of broke uneven. So what the directions say to do is to take you a piece of sandpaper. It says 320, but I've got some 120 right here. And it says just to take it and sand the uh, nozzle or the little white piece right here flat. And it only takes a second. I mean, it's just soft plastic. Anyways, once you get it all flat, and you literally seen me take two seconds, and and I've got it about flattened out good. And uh, just another second of uh, sanding. It says in the directions that you want to get it nice and square. And I'll be honest, I've never used this product before. I mean, this is something new to me, so I'm doing it first time. I'm testing it out with you. So I'm, I'm going to give you my thoughts on it and uh, let you know exactly what I think. All right, I've got this all nice and squared back off, sanded flat. Now I'm going to set it over here, and I'm going to go ahead and pull the save a can out of the... Uh, package you know if you're wondering how much this thing cost it's about 12 13 dollars they're not too crazy expensive but you know i'm sure you're thinking well gosh that's a lot of money for that little piece of brass nozzle that's that's a lot well think about it you know if it's one or two cans of paint you know that's rendered useless you know this will pay for itself you know just don't accidentally be an idiot and throw it away like i would do but uh you know, I got to say, it's pretty heavy. You can definitely tell it's got some mass to it. If you threw it at somebody, it, it hurt them. Uh, I swear it weighs as much as like a 9 millimeter bullet. It's it's really that heavy. But uh, anyways, uh, you can see right there on the bottom. I'll try to 
I don't know if the stupid camera will zoom in or not, but you can see the threads right there on the bottom of it. So what you want to do, and it said you could take some pliers. It said to put your finger over the nozzle so you don't accidentally squirt yourself in the face. And then you just thread it down. Yeah, maybe I wasn't putting enough pressure on it. I'm I, Like I said, this is my first time, so. All right. Now, I got it a little threaded on there. I think what is happening is that little white piece right there is spinning while I'm trying to thread it on there. So I would probably hold that with a pair of needle nose pliers while I thread that on there so, so it don't uh, accidentally squirt out some some fluid so just bear with me again i like i said this is my first time too so i think i need to hold it i think that's what's happening i've just got some side cutters right here i'm just going to hold it with there we go that's what was the matter you can see that it it just wasn't it was spinning and it wasn't threading so that was my fault that wasn't the product's fault so now you can clearly see that it's threaded on that white piece and you can also see that I didn't get it as perfectly straight as I wanted and it seems to be fine but it's, it's threaded down on there and uh, you know there's the nozzle so let's see if this uh, starting fluid is spray so I'm gonna move these cans out of the way so you can see what I'm talking about let's see if this works I've got a cardboard box right here Wow, looks like it works to me. Looks like it works pretty damn good, too. And the good news is there wasn't none leaking out. You know, I didn't have any leak out around the nozzle. But this is, like I said, this is my first can of starting fluid that I've ever, I've ever tried this product on. So let's try it on something else and see. I'll do two cans of it, and that way you guys at home can see exactly how I do it. And, and uh, you know... Uh, you'll see that the product works. Now, before I go on and make the next uh, part of the video and with me screwing this valve onto the next can, or one thing I wanted to go ahead and tell you guys is once you uh, get through with this nozzle here, you don't want to just leave it setting out to get dirty. So what you do is you take, put your straw in like this right here, and then you hook it up to a, a can of uh, brake clean or uh, starting fluid just whatever you got and uh, just like this you can see the tip right there and sorry about the shaky camera work I'm trying to do this on a tripod but you just squeeze the nozzle and it it self cleans itself you know uh, that way you don't when next time you go to use it it's not all clogged up with paint or gunk or whatever none of that mess now just for kicks and giggles uh, I don't know if this product is rated for the kitchen or not, but I would say that it probably is. I mean, it's made out of brass. Uh, it didn't say that it was on the package, so, you know, use at your own risk. Uh, I didn't want to waste a whole nother can of brake cleaner or whatever um, just for the, the review because I'm a madman with the brake cleaner, and I get to using that stuff. It's addicting. But anyways, I've got a can of... Uh, canola oil right here and i spray the grill uh, on this with this stuff every day you know because i cook on the grill a lot and i'm um, got down to the last few drops on this stuff and i just wanted to see if it work on a, a canola oil yeah i guess you're gonna have to hold it with the pliers and again i'm sorry for this shoddy camera work it's just hard to do working with little intricate parts like this but as you can see i didn't try to damage this one because you know you're going to repair it anyways and it's going to end up being fixed but i did thread it down into there and uh because there's just not much oil left in this can i don't know if it'll even spray or not because it's really really low but we'll put the box back up here and see if it'll spray out but yeah you can see right there it it works and I didn't see any leaking out around it. Uh, maybe just like a little drop, but gosh, it didn't spray back on me or nothing. I don't know if you can use this with food products or not. I appreciate you watching this video. and You know, I know this is just a 
a small little product you know really really tiny you know it's it can be really helpful and save you some money if you use a lot of aerosol can stuff so you know check this company out there's their card phone number and give jack a call at save a can so uh anyways appreciate you guys watching and please like and subscribe to the channel make sure you hit that notification bell there and that way when i upload a new video and you'll get a little notification buzzer saying hey come watch my video i need some views anyways till next time guys have a good one